Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and we are continuing on with our Billboard tier list where we look at the top 10 songs from the dance electronic charts from the end of the year. We are back now at 2016. We've gone in reverse chronological order, working our way back, and I must say, 2016 is great. Things are looking up. There are some great songs in here, except for the top two. But uh, we will get into that uh, starting at number 10 on the Billboard list, moving our way up to number one. We've got Lean On by Major Lazer and DJ Snake featuring M.O. Uh, this song absolutely took over the world for a time. It's got a simple yet engaging beat with great vocals from M.O. And it really started the reign of Major Lazer and continued the dominance that was DJ Snake for these uh, early 2010s. And so... I think Lean On's gotta get a B. Lean On's gotta get a B tier. It is a solid track. Big, big fan. Uh, speaking of DJ Snake, we've got Middle by DJ Snake featuring Bipolar Sunshine. I've always been a fan of Bipolar Sunshine's lyrics in particular. They are odd at times, but have a very distinct kind of flair and style to them. Uh, the beat, again, on this one is easily digestible and recognizable, and those vocal chops are also instantly recognizable. It just feels like another one where you kind of just, you hear it from a distance and you instantly know what the song is. You may not know the name of the song right away, but you're just like, yes, 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 yes. And one that you actually want to play out loud. It's a commercial EDM track that works. That's like, yes, this is a good, solid track. Uh, this one's going to get a B. Then we've got oh, Never Be Like You by Flume featuring Kai. This is prime time Flume. The whole Skin album was put on the backs of this track and it absolutely pulled through. The balance of commercial and niche sounds here is so delicate, yet Flume executes it so flawlessly. Uh, Kai's vocals are top tier. The wonky drops are something I didn't really think I would ever hear on the radio, but boy, it it was so right. Uh, it even got a relatively big finale here. I I, I love Flume a, a, a ton too. I love this album and I love this song. I think this is fantastic. I'm happy that a lot of people know the song. I'm happy a lot of people know Flume and were introduced to either it by this or the You and Me remix, but uh, so good S tier right away. Then, continuing the DJ Snake dominance, we've got to Let Me Love You by DJ Snake featuring Justin Bieber. Uh, we have this on 2017 as well, but uh, this has summer vibes written all over it. The whole encore project um, had a bit of a summer vibe to it and had tons of features on it, and this was just another big track from it. Uh, Bieber gives a kind of standard performance here, but uh, I think the simple beat uh, that stays behind the whole track is just what kind of keeps it as recognizable and easily engageable. Bull? Is that even a word? Engaging? Uh, uh, as it is. And uh, yeah, uh, just a solid, solid track. DJ Snake actually did pretty solid with Encore, I would say. And this is going to go in B tier as well. Look at all this B tier, Bs and Ss. Look at that. Then we've got Never Forget You by Zara Larson, Zara Larson and Eminek. Um, this is a pretty forgettable track to me, honestly. The drops and choruses don't really feel like the earworms that I would expect from a commercial track, um, especially despite them, I should say, despite them being as minimal as they are. That being said, all things considered, though, uh, it's a solid track with great production and uh, comparable vocal performances from both Zara and Eminek here. And so uh, this track, even though I feel like it's a little bit more forgettable and probably the most forgettable of anything on this top 10 list, I think it deserves a B. I think it deserves a B. Uh, moving into the number five song of the year, we've got Roses by the Chainsmokers featuring Roses. This is it. This is... The best chain smokers we ever got. Period. Not even close, at least in terms of the commercial sounds. Um, Roses' his own vocal features fit in right in with the production here, and the production, my goodness, it's actually mixed well for the first time and sounds clean. Chainsmokers, what did you do here? Uh, this track came in right around the height of the future bass kind of dominance of the scene and influenced a lot of music to come in the, in the next couple years after this. Um, I am shocked, Chainsmokers. You had a great track. Way to go. You just did, never did it again. Uh, we're going to do this one B tier. B tier Chainsmokers for sure. Then we've got Cold Water by, again, Major Lazer featuring Justin Bieber and M.O. this time. Uh, of all the Major Lazer major laser tracks here, this is the most simplistic of them all by far, which makes a lot of sense when you have both Bieber and M.O. as vocal features, kind of let them carry the track forward and make the production just a sort of supporting backbeat. And um, yeah, for all of that, it's not their most interesting track, but still a solid one. I wouldn't give it B, I'm going to give it a C tier, I think. 
And we're heading into the top three. Number three song of the year in 2017 or 16, 16, uh, is This Is What You Came For by Calvin Harris featuring Rihanna. This is one of those classic dance pop songs where everyone knows the lyrics to the chorus and belts it out at any time they can, but has no idea what any of the verses are, uh, <laughs> which is um, just a testament to uh, some parts of the track, how the, the drops are the most interesting part of the track and the verses are kind of okay, but everyone's just here for the drops. And so uh, it it's definitely makes it a kind of classic, a dance floor classic, uh, but other than that, yeah, only the the drops are really the most interesting parts and the Deep House synths are iconic. They're the kind of the classic Calvin Harris sound, but uh, we're going to put this one in C tier. We're going to go C tier. Our penultimate track, our top two. It was going so good for the year. It was going so good. Uh, then we've got Closer by the Chainsmokers featuring Halsey. Uh, oh, this has got to be one of the Chainsmokers, Chainsmokers worst, I've got to say. The drop is lifeless and boring. It's got awkward pacing and it's hard to dance to. Uh, the lyrics suck. I think they're really not good. And uh, yeah, I, like I said before in the last year's one, I'll, this song isn't horrible bad. It's just bad, bad. And it's going to go in E tier. But they had to one-up themselves uh, because uh, number one is Don't Let Me Down by the Chainsmokers featuring Dea. Uh, if I ever had to personify a synth, if anyone told me to personify one synth you'd ever think of and give it a human trait, uh, this would be the first one I think of because it sounds like the whole thing is whining. Uh, it sounds like it's begging for attention and, well, I got it. Uh, it is just weak and puny and I, I hate the sound of the synth on this one. It just... It does not work. Um, Day's vocals are okay, I would say, but the trap production here is just super lackluster. This one will also go in E tier. Why did you have to ruin such a good year, Jade Smokers? You helped the good year and then... Ah! Uh, but yeah, so that is 2016 Billboard Top 10 tier list. Uh, let me know what you think of the songs in the comment section below. But other than that, I am Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another 